Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for a Future Focus video. This video we're going to talk about broadcast and unicast. ArtNet uses two methods to send data across the network. The first is a broadcast. In broadcast, one or more senders transmit data to all receivers, aka nodes. This is very beneficial in some circumstances and can overcome some poor network setups. However, it can be very inefficient when a large percentage of devices do not need the data. Ethernet switches pass broadcast data to all their ports, which can have an effect of saturating the network. The second is unicast. In unicast, a single sender transmits data to a single receiver, node. Unicast is the simplest form of transmission and is the predominant form of data transfer on a majority of networks. It is extremely efficient in its use of bandwidth. This is because the network infrastructure equipment, such as switches, can ensure the packet is only transmitted over the specific parts of the network to which the intended recipient is connected. This also requires more careful setup of the network. Unicast gradually becomes less efficient as more receivers, nodes, need to be see identical data. In this scenario, many unicast packets are sent to unique destinations, hence the use of broadcast. Some tips. ArtNet starts at universe zero. For the specification, so manufacturers will name zero as one, but this is incorrect and often confusing. Consult your node's manufacturer. If you're using a number of nodes with the same ArtNet universe on the same line in Titan, broadcast may make setup easier. Never broadcast and unicast a universe. Attempting to do so can cause glitching, among other issues. You can unicast the same universe number, zero for example, from different lines of Titan to two or more nodes. Unpolled and unknown devices may appear as ArtNet nodes. An unpolled device is a rolling extra, which allows more than four connections to be made to a particular ArtNet device. The ArtNet specification only allows each device to advertise a maximum of four universes, so if you need to add more, the console has to invent the fifth, the sixth, etc. An unknown device is one which doesn't format an ArtNet poll reply properly, so the console doesn't know if it is an input or output device. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. I've got a, a couple of nodes connected as well as capture running on the network here. So if I just go into my system menu, Avon on disk on a console, and then choose DMX settings. I can see here I've got my, under ArtNet, I've got my broadcast. I can see the four universes uh, being pulled on capture and the four being pulled on my four port node. And we see here on my eight port node, I've got uh, four through 10 and also the eighth one on uh, universe zero. And also you see my unpolled universe four on capture as well as unpolled on my uh, four port node and uh, unpolled on my eight port node. So if I wanted to assign a broadcast, I can simply uh, click here and then select where I wanted it to go. And then anything that was uh, universe zero would now be seeing anything I have patched on there. So if I bring up uh, the external capture as well as my DMX tester, we can see that if I was to select my uh, lights here and go ahead and give them a locate, we can see that uh, they came on as well as I can see them in my uh, DMX tester there. So we clear, we'll go back into the system menu, go ahead and unassign our broadcast zero. And if I was to assign my capture zero to here, and then I was to scroll down to my uh, port eight, which is one currently connected to the DMX tester, and I was to assign it to say, oh, line three, and then we exit out of here. We now see that if I fire, if I select these same fixtures here, they still come on as expected, but I see different uh, results in my DMX tester because they're actually connected to different lines. So if I fire a different playback, we can see levels changing on there. I'm going to go back in my system menu. I'll see if I wanted to assign port one, which is assigned to universe zero on my uh, node here. I could assign that one to say line six, and then we'll just switch our DMX tester from uh, one node to the other. And if we exit out of here, we can see that if we fire some playbacks, uh, we can see some difference in our DMX.
but since none of those are assigned to be seen in capture, we see nothing in capture. So if we go into our system menu again, and we go ahead and assign our unpulled capture, universe four to line three and five to four and six to five and seven to six and then we exit out here we can see that after a moment and capture syncs up we can see that we now have capture also working so that has been how to assign uh, broadcast and unicast and the basic differences between them i hope you learned something join us on facebook at avalites us join us here next time please subscribe thanks bye We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.